Hello again, everybody, and and welcome to another exciting episode of Daily December. This is uh, D- Daily December D- Day Ten, uh, and and this is is going to to be a um, kind of a, a, a shorter just real quick update video about what what's uh, what, what's going on with 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 me because I have uh, an, another v- video uh, that I want to get out today that I don't want any of my per- personal stuff in because uh, it has a very specific purpose that you will see in in the next video um, so as as, as huh. As as far as how things are going, they're they're going good, good and 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 bad f- for me right now. Um, my um uh, uh with withdrawal is still interesting, uh, uh to to say the least. Um, it's been been um rough. Um, but a lot of the, the physical symptoms are, are gone, which I, I think I've, I've mentioned before. Um, I, I do get flare ups of, of nausea or, or other symptoms. I'll go, I'll get these flop sweats out of nowhere. Um, and my, my panic attacks are still crazy, but I'm, 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 I'm getting through the, the withdrawal. Um, you, you may have, have also so noticed that um my stutter is not quite as pronounced as as it has been in a while and this is a pretty crazy uh thing for me um i uh, have been struggling with this for a while it's uh the 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 stutter itself um, may be an, an annoying to you guys, or, or may seem like it's not a big deal, to, depending on your your personal views. F- for me, it is a massive blow t- t- to my self worth. Um, I have always been uh, a, a a talker. Uh, I, I did public speaking. Uh, most most of my life uh, in uh, re- when I worked retail, I, I was a salesman, uh, and then when I got to management, uh, I was a trainer. Uh, I uh, did I I I was the guy that that worked with the difficult customers because I was very good at communicating towards the end of my career. Towards the beginning, I was bad, um, but I was really good at communicating and 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 li- listening to customers and 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 making sh- sure that they got the the best experience that we could give them, without doing things that that hurt the business, like just giving them free stuff to make them shut up or other, other things like that. And then I I was I, I was an actor. I, uh, I, I think I, I may have t- told this story before, but, um, wh- while I was working retail, when I was, I was new to management, um, I got approached by a theater company I'd worked with before. Um, and, uh, they, uh, they asked me to uh, take, take a part in a show that they were doing that I had, had wanted to audition for, but being a new manager, I just didn't have the time. So they said, yeah, well, we had some, some issues. Um, and now we have a, a, a pretty, you know, we, we have a hole in the cast that, that we need someone that's, that's solid in, in order to be able to, to do the show. So, okay, well, well, well what's going on? Well, we're, they they were doing the Odd Couple, which is a a brilliant show, 
Um, if you if you've never seen it, you, you need to. Uh, it's it's hilarious. They they turned it into a TV series. Um, it's so so funny. Um, uh, but the two um, lead characters are um, I can't remember their name now. Wow, I feel stupid now. Felix and and o Oscar is that it? Uh, where is Oscar? Yeah, F Felix and, and Oscar, and there they are. The uh, um, hmm. uh, they're they're where the idea of the the odd couple relationship comes from in in comedy, where uh, Oscar is is this very lazy fair uh, kind of sloppy slobby kind of guy, and Felix is this very uptight anal attentive uh kind of guy and due to circumstances uh they have to uh they, they become roommates and they have to live with each other and it's really funny anyway so they go yeah we 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 need you to to understudy a role and there's a very good chance that you're going to just take the role because the guy that's uh doing it just isn't doing uh well enough to 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 perform I said, okay, that's that's fine. What what's the role? It's Felix. Felix, one of the two co-leads. Okay, that's it's more than I was I was planning on. But uh, you know what? I I, I love the show. Um, sh sure, let me. Uh, uh, when uh, uh, when when do you open? Uh, and it was a it was a Friday night that they came in. Uh, she goes tonight. I said, I'm sorry. What? She's like, we were supposed to open tonight. We pushed it back a week, uh, so we'll we'll be opening a, a week from tonight. And I said, "I'm sorry, you want me to learn the lead of a show in less than a week?" Because at this point, I hadn't even seen the script. I was familiar with the show, never s seen a script for it, and. Uh, she goes, I, I know it's a lot to ask, uh, but we're, we, we really don't have a choice. I said, let me, let me talk with my boss. Cause if I'm going to do this, I'm going to have to take time off of work. I have to, uh, I have to m make sure I can do that first. But if he says, yeah, I'll, I'll give it a shot, but I, I can't promise anything. So I went to my boss and I said, Hey, um, I need next weekend uh, nights off because uh, they want me. And I technically, I need nights off for the next week because uh, they need me to, um, uh, they need me to be in a show. I, they, they've asked me to be the lead in a show. And he said, you know, you work your ass off for us. Sure. Uh, we, you, you, you can't have next Thursday because you're, you're the only person that can close the store that night. But other than that, you're fine. Uh, and I just worked mornings. So, um, I got the script on s Saturday. They, they dropped it off for me. I had my first rehearsal on Monday. I, I met the guy I was understudying. Uh, as soon as I came in, I, I, I knew about half the cast cause I, I worked with them. Um, and this guy I didn't know was there. Uh, and as soon as he saw me walk in and they had already kind of explained to him that they were bringing me into understudy in case he couldn't get the part down by Friday. And as soon as I walked in, I, I believe he, he walked out within 20 minutes to an hour. Um, and, uh, so yeah, I got, I got this part. I, um, I got the, the script on Saturday. Um, we rehearsed Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday night for about three hours a piece. And then I, I, I missed, final dress because um i had to close the store then we opened on friday so in about nine hours of rehearsal and in less than a week i memorized an, an entire uh script because when i uh when, when you learn your lines you don't just learn your lines you learn uh, at least the lines before and a little bit after yours as, as well and because i was in 
uh, I believe almost every scene. I, I don't think there was a single scene I wasn't on stage for uh, a, a large part of it because, again, I was one of the leads. Uh, it just was uh, – it was intense and crazy, and I, I slept about like an hour or two a night because I would have to be at the store by about 5.30 in the morning to – or maybe it was 6 at that point. I can't remember. But we'd have to be there about six. I, I lived about 30, 45 minutes o- away from the store. So I'd have to be up by about five-ish. I'd go, I'd, I'd work until uh, about, I can't even remember. Uh, I'd, I'd work a full like 10 or 12-hour shift because managers just work crazy hours. I'd go directly f- from work to uh, rehearsal, picking up something to eat along the way. We'd rehearse until around like mm, 10, 11 o'clock, sometimes a little bit later. And then uh, to drive to the theater home, that was another about 20-ish, 25 minutes. Uh, so I wouldn't get home until well after midnight. It would, it would take me uh, a couple hours to kind of wind down from from the rehearsal. Uh, and then, then I'd, I'd sleep for a couple hours and do it again. Did that for, for a solid week. Um, and it was amazing. It was wonderful. And, and that, that used to be who I was. And this, this, um, this stutter has taken that, that away from, from me. I, I, I can't talk. I, I can't ar- articulate what I want to say. And the, the fact that I'm 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 finally starting to, to to win a little bit against it is incredible. It's it's like it's like being trapped in your own body where you you can't express what you want to say and and because my my memory's been so bad I I haven't been able to uh I haven't been able to, to um articulate the the things that that I want to and I, I can't think of the, the right words it's it's been like I've been a pr- prisoner in, in my own body and now that it's it's going away it's it's, it's huge so um, I have good days and I have have bad days um, how how I'm this 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 is the best I, I have been able to speak in a year uh, by a, a massive margin. And in general, when I record my videos, I'm generally at a, a good spot. So the, the stuttering that, that you guys have, have seen in my videos is me on a good day. Uh, when I'm not, like, I can't communicate with, with people. And I still have those 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 days earlier today was one of those days i had a migraine uh for 12 or 14 hours i i went to my doctor because i i had to get blood work done to check my horrible cholesterol and i dropped my triglycerides dropped by like 200 points like it was great um but uh i've been having migraines really bad for months now and nothing's helping so i i asked my my doc if if he could uh give me because he given me a migraine medication before and it unfortunately uh has an interaction uh that that causes serotonin syndrome and since i'm hyper susceptible to it i can't take that it, it'll kill me so i asked him for another one he he uh Gave me a prescription and everything. I, I went to pick it up, and they told me I uh, uh, that no, when I went to pick it up, they didn't have it ready. And so uh, I had been out of my room for far too long at that point, and was starting to freak out. So um, my uh, uh, my my family took me to get something to eat, and we we went home. Uh, we we just went through a drive through. Uh, I, I went home and ate it. And then they they uh, they were going to go pick it up after, and when um, 
I went to go pick it up. Um, uh, the, the pharmacy said that uh, uh, my insurance won't cover uh, the medication and uh, and therefore I, I can't afford it um, so uh, yeah um, there's there's no reason my insurance shouldn't cover it uh, they they claim that the doctor had to to reapprove it which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because I was on I was on a controlled substance uh, uh, I, I was, uh, 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 the, the Valium I was on, uh, that, uh, is a really, really powerful drug and, and it's highly controlled. It's a class, I think two or three controlled substance. Like it's, it's really hard to get, uh, this isn't, it's, it's a migraine med that I can't remember. Uh, so anyway, that I just been, been having a really bad day and, uh, I, I have this, this brief m moment of clarity right now and we'll, we'll see how it does. Uh, I, I, I don't know how long it, it's going to last. I, uh, I, I had to, to cancel my D and D game t tonight cause I just haven't, I, I haven't been able to deal with my anxiety for the past week or two um so yeah we'll, we'll 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 see what happens but the the ability for me to talk as as clearly as i am right now is massive it may not seem like a, a ton to you guys but this is the greatest thing that's that's happened to me in a while so um anyway i know i said this is going to be short it wasn't but i had stories to tell um my next video uh, is going to have a very specific purpose. So uh, please uh, check back whenever I have it recorded and uploaded because uh, it's really, really important to me and, and to a lot of people, I, I hope. So any, anyway, that's all for me right now. And I will see you guys next time. All right. Bye-bye.